Yes. Pikachu! And Poel. Pikachu no denki ga joji, wait, jojo ni yoaku natte iku. So Pikachu's electricity gradually weakened. Exactly, perfect. Um, sore de mo chikaru o furu shibori, denki o tamete hanatsu. However, even, even saying that, um, Pikachu musters all his strength and continues to gather electricity and releasing it. Um, uh, Kuroshiso ni kata de iki o suru Pikachu wa tatashi o mita. So the Pikachu who um, is breathing, but he looks like he's like in pain. Like the, his, his, his pain is very like, with his breathing, remember his very harsh breathing, and I think his shoulders are kind of showing that. Uh, so he's breathing like with his shoulders, you know, like, you know, like normally when you breathe, your shoulders don't like go up and down, but when you're breathing really hard, then there's more of that full body movement going on. So that's what they're using the kata de de for that part. And anyway, this Pikachu, who looks like he's in pain, is staring at um, Satoshi. And I'll do Powell again. Kerero Satoshi wa ugokanai mama. Uh, but Satoshi is still not moving. Exactly. Pikachu! And Ubi. Onigaishimasu. And Ubi, you are in between two talkies somewhere. If he might be talking to someone. I, I did so. hear. I, I did hear someone walk in their room. Mm -hmm. So I'll the page you said then uh chikara o furi shibotte denki o hanatta ga ryo ryo ho kara shibana ga chiru dake de satoshi made todokanai so um pikachu it is trying to release the electricity that it gathered with all of its might however all what's coming out are little sparks from its little cheeks. Um, and it won't even reach Ash anymore. That's how tired Pikachu is. And then Pikachu goes, Pikapi, which means Ash in Pokemon. And Powell, on again, Shima. Pikachu no hitomi kara namida ga afureta. So tears are flowing down Pikachu's, I guess, hitomi. That's a good guess. Um, afureta actually means to overflow. So what would you guess hitomi means then? If we know it's overflowing from. Uh, maybe his eyelids? Yes. Hit well, specifically, hitomi means like eye, but like the pupil of your eye. Mm -hmm. But it's used in a way like how eye is used in Japanese, in English, rather than like pupil. So we did like Pikachu's pupils overflowed with, mm -hmm. but that would be bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though this does mean pupil, it mm -hmm. just has to do with... Uh, it tends to be used just like meh. So meh tends to show up if you're using someone like seeing something and hitomi is more physical, so overflowing, things like that. If you're talking about the color of someone's eye, we use hitomi as well. So that's one of those. Oh, you're back. Konnichiwa. Mm, uh, uh, sorry, it was just uh, somebody knocked on our door. Just had to take care of that. Totally, totally normal. You'll be getting the next line. Um, Oh, but I, I have to finish this one. Oh, okay. What uh, page are we on? We are on page one seventy nine. Oh. So you're you're gonna do <laughs> suit adult once I'm done with the the line before it. Okay, my my box broke. Right. Okay. um, pota pota to otsuta nami na nami da ga jimen ni shimikonde iku. So here we have the flowing down the face, which is the ko satte, to flow down, the trace down your face is basically like the direct translation, but this is, tends to be used with tears. So the trees went down his face and they kind of, the tears kind of fell in a pota pota kind of way. So like the drops are kind of hitting the jimen, right? The floor. Uh, so, yep, the tears fall into the floor from his face. And then it's gonna be Ubi's turn. Mm. Hi. Uh, Suruto Pikachu or 
、oh, ピカチュウを見ていたポケモンやポケモンのコピー、uh, コピー、uh, たちが、えー、声を上げて、えー、泣き出した。Okay, so, so remember the subject is Uh, mm. Pokemon Tachi, the, the right? Subject is the Pokemon. Yeah, so they, they were the ones、uh, looking at、uh, a Pikachu.、Hi. So that's, that's them.、Uh, And the sounds.、Uh, well, the... we have the water radical in here. That's their tears, we... crying. Yep. Uh, naku is the verb crying versus nami dot, which is here's the noun. So, this is the noun, this is just the verb. So, the, 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 sound, the sound of their, their crying what, just goes up. <laughs> good, good guess. So, koyo agita means to let out your voice. So, it's kind of going, it's another way. Not only that, they start crying. So, dasu. Tends to be added to verbs when we're saying we're going to begin doing an action.、Ah, so, so earlier we saw like tame, tame, tame ki dasu, which was mean used to mean to start collecting energy and start collecting denki, but we were like, oh yeah, it's a, they're going to shoot it out soon, but it doesn't actually do that. It just means to start the verb. So、Ooh. he begins to cry basically. So it's the same as like hajimedu.、Oh, okay. The uses. So they begin crying.、Um, these, are the these are the different koi's that are being a g e t a So they say their Pokemon word. Gira, Bane, Buku, Deni. So those are all the weird little noises that they a g e t a Um... <laughs> Uh, Pokemon Tachi ga Nagashi Nami da no Tubu ga Kira Kira Kagayai Takato Moto Chuo Tadayoi Satoshi no ho e Suiko Maritu Yoni Nagarete ita. So the Pokemon Tachi, they are, you know, crying. So while their tears are kind of flowing, um they kind of start shining really prettily. Like, wow, you're like, wow, those are some twinkles. And right when you see that it's twinkling, like you like your brain recognizes that, they begin floating in the air, kind of like wafting over something. So, not like woo, but like woo. And、um, they're being sucked into、um, the direction where ash is. And、um, so, basically, they're flowing toward ash, but it looks kind of like they're being sucked into him. But are they being sucked into him? I don't know. We don't know. We're watching a story. And Ubi, o n i g a s h i m a s Uh, Hikari. Yep, uh, Hikari. Hikari uh, tonata musu no. Uh, well, I gotta turn on my lamp. <laughs> It's so dark. Okay, uh, yeah, musu no、eh, namida no subu ga、eh, taorete iru、eh, satoshi no、eh, karada ni furi sosoi te iku. Oh boy, that's a lot of words I don't know. Well, to the, you don't really need to worry about that. We already got Namida. You know what Namida means? Wait, 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 wait. It's showing up quite a bit. Korewa is a Tsubu Nami. Tsubu Nami. Tsubu is kind of like the size and the shape. That a Nami die is. Is is that the tears? Yep. Nami die means tears. And、uh, okay. Tubu kind of means like small droplet. Oh, okay, okay. So we didn't really need it. We could just say Musu no Nami d a and we'd be fine. We know what we're talking、yeah. about. But they wanted no, but to they... specify the droplets are what's being dropped, not like. The flow of tears itself, you know, like when you cry and it's、yeah, like, eh. okay, okay. So, like, uh, tonata, what is tonata? Is that like, uh, Hikari tonata. 
now, now I'm doubting myself. Tonata, uh, tonaru means like to amount to. So the so the tears became light. <laughs> they're they're twinkling. Remember. So we're not getting physical tears necessarily moving over, but we got little sparkles moving over. That's, that, that's what you should imagine. Um, how many tears turned into sparkles? Uh, an innumerable amount. Exactly. So the tears are now magical sparkles. And what do these magical sparkles do? Oh, oh okay. Uh, uh, so 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 means like the pour over basically and together it just means like really to pour over so they're kind of like almost pouring over and converging towards yeah. his body it's kind of like saying to rain on so the sparklies from tears that, that were the, te- the, the tears turned into magical sparkles that rained over Satoshi's collapsed body. Yeah. Um, and Powell, onigashimasu. Hikari no subu o suikonde, suikonda Satoshi no karara ga kasuka na hikari o obi hajimeta. Um, so like the rays of light, I guess, like shown on Ash's body, Satoshi's body. Um, Kasukana, I'm not really sure. Mm. Um, we, we should start over here. So Ash's pot body is doing suikomu to the hikari no tsubu. What does that part mean? Hikari no subu? I thought that was a ray of light. Uh, no. So oh. subu is a word we looked at last time that's describing the namida, which is basically it means small particle is what it basically means. So we got small particles of tears that have turned into light. So these were mm-hmm. tears. Now there are little light particles. So it's not like a ray of light. It's like a particle of light. And these oh, yes, light... Pokemon physics. Yeah, Pokemon <laughs> physics. Um, so these little light particles are doing suikomu. What do you think that means? You might have heard the word tobacco su. Yeah, so smoke tobacco. Yeah, well, yeah, so to smoke tobacco. So what are you doing when you smoke? Like, what's Uh, your physical action? You're inhaling. Yes. So su means to inhale, and komu means, like, to go inside. So suikomu means that the lights are being sucked inside of Satoshi's body. Okay. And this this sucking of the body, the sucking of the light into the body, has caused his body to obiru hikari, but not a lot of hikari, only kasuna hikari, which is very light. What do you think is happening to his body? Um, is he kind of like emitting light? Yes. Like a faint amount of light. Basically, it means that we have like kind of like traces. He's, he's basically starting to emit light. But um, obidu kind of means like to wear or um, to kind of have a trace of or to be twinged with. So he has some light kind of starting on him. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so that light um, that was sucked into Satoshi's body as little teeny little uh, tear particles, um, it slowly gets more powerful until finally, before long, um, the light is very bright and shiny. Pikapi, which means ash in Pokemon. And Ubi, one of you Pikachu no Hitomi kara namida ga kobore. え、サトシへ、え、吸い込まれていた。え、すると、サトシの、え、体から、あ、うつ、うつく、あ、美しい、え、ハモンが広がった。うん。Great. 
So kobore, I heard you hesitate when you said that word, is very similar to aporeru that we saw earlier, but it, it, it tends to insinuate a smaller amount that is causing the overflow. So mm. just to spill out. Okay, okay, okay. So, so and cycle ni as in like finally, right? Uh, yep, at last, the, the final uh, Pokemon's Namida. Hmm. It was, it was all Pikachu, uh, uh, Pikachu no, from from his eye, I assume. Yep. Uh, uh, Hitomi kara uh, namida ga uh, kobare. Uh, Satoshi sui komare te ita. Okay, and then his uh, uh, Satoshi uh, uh, kind of absorbed that. Yes. So uh, yep. Uh, a, a one one of the tears fall, um spills out from Pikachu's eyes at last. And Ash's body sucks up that tear. Then Suruto, what happens? Suruto, uh, Satoshi no karada kara, and from his uh, Satoshi's body, uh, Utsukushi uh, Hamon. What is this? So a Hamon is like a ripple that you normally would see if you like drop like a drop of water onto a waddle. But here, probably Hikari is doing the ripple, right? There's some kind of. Hmm. Mm. Of Hikari. Okay, okay. So, Hirogata. Okay. So, so like a, a, a beautiful uh, ripple. Ka Hirogata. Well, like, is the ripple going this way? Expanded. I guess yes. expanded. Exactly. Expanded would be a great way of putting it. Yep. I was thinking like it's wide. Like that's the, that's the kanji. It's kind of yep. Like wide is ex normally used to mean expanded. Very common. Hmm. Oh, here's Pikachu crying. <laughs> uh, they should have showed us Ash. How rude. How am I supposed to imagine <laughs> in this environment? Um, I'm thinking to pause here rather than stopping halfway through a page. That's yeah, yeah, fine that's, with everybody. Sounds good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll stop our.